What is up, fair travelers? What is this? An update to the tech pack, to travel pack, to the travel pack from Air. One of the world's most popular selling one bag travel bags has been updated. What is it like? Let us find out. I just want to go ahead and apologize for my huzzah Ren Fairy introduction. That is in no way indicative of whether or not this bag is good. I'm just in a good mood and there's a crystal in my pocket. This is the Air Travel Pack version two. They've updated their travel pack, okay? Now, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little bit slimmer. It's not quite as bulky and bulgy. And yet I find that it packs just about the same amount of stuff. I think that the design, the aesthetic, the updates are exciting to me because functionally the ratio, the ratio of the design here just looks it just looks tighter. It looks a little more stylish. Now, ultimately, this bag is a certified good travel bag. If you're a traveler and you've traveled a lot, this bag won't let you down. It's made from great materials. It's got a lot of solid access and organization on the outside. It's got enough capacity. It's comfortable enough with the straps. You got a solid couple handles on there and the water bottle pocket. This thing has already been a solid. The 1.0 is solid. The 2.0 has some updated, uh, just a couple little updates. Mostly it's the big aesthetic update, which to me makes it a way more interesting bag just because I'm a bit of a... I'm a bit of an airy fairy that way. I like the way things look. What is it? I just like, I like my bags to look a bit fabulous. I like to feel fabulous. I like to look fabulous. I like flowing robes. I like kimonos. You have to come over for some time for one of my garden parties. <laughs> the point is, I like the look. I like the look update. We're going to look at every single nook and cranny of this bad boy. But first, here's my sort of key points that I want you to know about this bag. First of all, I think it is a killer size. It is not too big. It is not too small. It's a great bag to get into one bag travel with because you can actually like shove way too much stuff in there and it's not all that bad to travel with. And the amount of stuff you can shove in is like a lot of stuff. So the first point here is it's not too big, it's not too small, it's not so big that when you pack it all out it's actually a pain in the ass to carry. It's not so small that like that you can't fit enough stuff. It's right in the sweet spot and I think it is a very worthy companion for many of us who really want to experience the road because that'll change your fucking life. Like it'll change your life when you're on the, when you experience the road and this bag can help you do that. So what I'm saying is it's a nice size. Number two here is there's actually quite a bit of external organization as well as internal organization. Quick access like big panel out here. That's actually where I've been putting my Bluetooth headphones. Now, you see this having to get in and out? We're gonna talk about that. There's also a quick access pocket up here where I've thrown my glasses and my passport, which I'll pull out now so I don't forget that it's in there. Glasses and passport in a nice little quick little thing. There's no dimension built in. It's just like shoved between other stuff, but I find it's not that hard to get in and out of. You've got a laptop on the back back here. You've got your main compartment for all your clothes. Then you have a full tech organization panel up here, okay? Which you can kind of pull down and you've got all of these panels. I've got a little place for a book. I've got a place for my notebook. You could fill this out with a bunch of stuff. There's a zippered thing right here. So this is actually what you're getting into all the time. Where is it? Where's the other zipper? When you're traveling, you're sitting, you're putting your bag down. You're like, oh yeah, let's get my magazine or my iPad out. It's all in that front pouch or the quick access or the front thing up here. So the external access and the internal organization actually make this thing a really nice thing to travel with because you can get at your stuff. Point number three is just like, we need to call this out that it has a low key minimal aesthetic. Where do you find the brand? Where are you looking at the big logo? Where does it say like, this is what I am? Where does it say, I'm a guy like this. I'm, this is, this is the kind of person I am. It's minimal. It's aesthetic is minimal. It's black on black. It's got a slightly vaguely, techni vaguely technical sort of look. I think a lot of the brand of a bag and the style of the person you get from just the shoulder straps. And I don't know, what do you see on that? It's sort of adventure -y. It's basic, solid adventure -y, I guess. I feel like you could be a banker from London or you could be a like Bitcoin hacker from San Francisco or you could be a professional skateboarder, snowboarder, or you could be just a fucking dad who gets a weekend away with his buddies. Like this bag 
bag looks really great. And my final point here is everything on here is built really solid. Like I have to admit that I didn't want to like air and for a long time I've kind of not liked air because they feel like bags that were made not with like design and intention first but with like we just need to make something that will scale production and that we can sell a lot of and then we're going to grow an actual large sale a large scale brand out of this thing and don't take that too seriously to heart like i did i, I do like i work with bags all the time and so i'm constantly having like favorites and then ones that people are always asking about i'm like why are you so into that bag people are always asking about the air because they're affordable and honestly, that's a really big deal to make a bag like this quality that's affordable with this kind of function. This is more of the realm. It's like a Dieter Rams kind of thing. I want to design something that's beautiful and that's functional and that works well and that everybody should be able to afford. I think that's dope. <sighs> okay. How are we gonna talk about this bag and how am I not gonna bore you and get you into all the details? Let's just go quick. First of all, you have compression straps around the outside, two on each side. You cannot open the bag without taking them off. That's not that big of a deal because when I'm traveling, I don't get into that main compartment ever basically so i can use those they have a kind of aesthetic quality on the bag they make it look a little technical um but the functional here thing here is on the side without the water bottle you can easily have those on and just throw your jacket in there so you've got your jacket there you know it gets cold on a plane you've got your jacket there it's easy i love that i get to my seat pull my jacket out pull my laptop my ipad out throw them into the seat you don't even pull whatever you need put it there i got it right there so compression straps are you Useful. Like I said, uh, we've got this 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 front pouch right here, which is great because otherwise it'd just be a big panel, and it's not the easiest pocket to get in and out of. I found that I've been putting my Bose QC 35s. I'm doing a video right now. It might already be aired. It might not. Comparing the five like most common high-end Bluetooth noise canceling headphones, which one should you get? I basically come up with the answer and it's between this and one other one. Um, I love the case on this and it fits right in there. You can shove it in. It's like really rigid and durable. Like you can just beat the shit out of it. It makes it so it's like not the easiest thing to get out, but off oftentimes if I'm traveling alone, like you, a lot of you people without kids get to do, my headphones are on the whole time. You know what I mean? So your headphones are on, you're walking, you're cruising, you got it. But for me, I need to be able to get into that occasionally. So I put it there. The point being, this is great actually at documents, not business papers, <laughs> not for business papers. You think a business paper is going to fit in there? Really? Do you think a business paper is going to fit in there? Your business paper is not going to fit in there. This is for like travel documents. This is for like your maps or maybe a book or something like that. Your uh, boarding passes, etc. It's nice. It's a nice pocket. You do have a side handle and a top handle. These are great. These feel good. This top handle is really thick and, and big. Probably not the last iteration we'll see of this. I think they'll upgrade this to something slightly less big, a little more humane. Uh, this is an awesome point for this bag to have a little, uh, like, like I think the handle is the brand. Like, it's a silly idea that I have, but I think the way I feel when I reach down and I grab that bag, that's where the designer's final note of, like, his little kiss of death or her kiss of death, like, like this, hey, I've been considered, right? A designer has to consider all these different things, and so this feels like, a, this feels like not a super considered thing, but more more than it could be and an indifferent than it, than it was, right? They also have this little strap here, which is for your uh, your luggage carousel or your, your you know, not luggage, luggage carousel, but your, your thing that's if you're wearing, if you have roller luggage, Jesus, Chase, if you have roller luggage, you can put this over the thing. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. If you are taking lo roller luggage and this, that's awesome. You should have everything you need when you travel. Also, what if you ditch the roller luggage? Just saying, just saying, try it out a couple times. Try the free spirit of the road when you get a chance. And in the meantime, you can put this on your roller luggage and it's easy and that's nice because that actually changes a lot of people's lives. Water bottle pocket, literally nothing to report. It's a fine water bottle pocket. Actually, th there is something to report. Have you ever had a bad water bottle pocket? Bad water, where they like your water bottle is like, I am not confident at all that's not gonna fall out. This feels 
I feel confident in this. It's not falling out, it feels good. You have your compression strap right here in the middle of it, but normally it's clipped closed and you can get in and out of this. It's fine. I'm glad it's there. It does have a nice little zip up feature. So it basically becomes invisible. Okay, let's talk about wearing this sucker and the comfort here. I've got it packed out for like basically how I travel for three weeks or three months or three days. It's kind of like I, I carry it all. All right, now I am 5'10", 190 pounds. This is the size of the bag on me, okay? Can you get a sense of that? All right, can you see anything? Is it literally actually visible to you? Okay, it's a very comfortable, it's fine. It's a solid, sleek bag. We've got um, very rigid padding in here, uh, like a very rigid on the top and then some softer padding underneath a little bit. There's more like of a mesh padding on the bottom. This is great because that rigid stuff actually helps distribute the weight across all the places that it touches, okay? Very useful. It's a nice strap. Doesn't feel like fancy. Doesn't feel as nice or quality or dense as other things, but I think it's ultimately a pretty interesting solution. Uh, basically an interesting cheaper solution because this bag is not very expensive given all of it, the quality of its materials. There is a, a hip strap you can get for this. Now to me, this size, is actually hip straps will like if you have a heavy bag especially if you're a person with a smaller frame a hip strap will change your life if you can get this weight resting on your hips and your lower bottom part of your torso and then your straps are basically just used as guiding um, that can change your whole way of carrying the weight of this bag as it is I don't mind putting a slight lean forward I can get through a long stretch with a bag like this because I'm still very fairly svelte and and I, I'm trying not to let my body completely decay before it's time. But I'm clearly on the path. <laughs> and so it's nice that you can, you, can, uh, uh, you can get some hip straps and clip that in. Ultimately, it's not as big of a bag as I, I think I'd go without the hip straps because when you have the hip straps, then it's like you take it off, you got more dangly shit, you're getting it into the, uh, the overhead compartment, there's more dangly shit, but it's nice for all the walking and stuff. So if you're doing lots of walking, uh, probably gonna wanna bring them. Okay, now I showed you this front pocket already let's just do it one more time underwear strappy things down here organization goes all the way down got a nice little place for my notebook a little place here a little place here two pen things zippered thing that goes all the way down a place for my book what am i reading right now the bell notes this guy invented the first or created the first working helicopter and then he wanted then he just walked away from it all to go explore consciousness because he just wanted to check out the esoteric for its own sake. Come on, this is, I can't write this stuff. So ultimately that panel is nice and organized. -y. Like I said, you're gonna be getting into it often. Then you have the laptop compartment in the back, which has a water sealed zipper, which is great for the weather resistance. Thank you, air. And inside of here, I think it goes down more on this, on one side than the other. Just a huge laptop compartment. Now, it has a piece of foam, a very thick, rigid foam at the bottom that's sort of flapping around. So you wanna make sure that your laptop lands on that and pushes it down. It's designed so that it would do that. And that gives you some support from the bottom, some protection from the bottom of the bag. Like I said, this thing is huge though. You can fit a much bigger laptop than mine. Okay, and now it's time for the main event. Let's get into the main compartment. And we have looked at all the peripherals on the outside. I believe I even got all their updates. One of their updates is the zippers are now lockable. So you can lock those. That's important to a lot of people, um, you know, cause you know, wandering hands. Uh, so you got that going for you. I personally never lock things like that. I. Uh, I just don't, and I haven't. I would lock the maybe the main compartment, but like <laughs> my laptop is way, <laughs> way more, like people are gonna be trying to steal that way more than the main compartment, but I need to get into that often enough to where it's like, I don't wanna just be locking that up and unlocking it every time I get into it. These are the challenges you face when you get on the road and you experience the road and you experience the comfort and the security that comes with the fear of losing the thing. I don't know, you know, you gotta, you gotta be brave, you gotta be, Brave, you gotta be bold, a little bit wiser. Little, there's a song, a little bit wiser. I'm not remembering the song yet. You gotta be bad, you gotta be bold, you gotta be stronger. What is that song? It's like a, it's like a 2000s R&B thing. Oh my God, look at this thing. It opens up. Let me show you what I have in it. Here you can see I'm packed out. I throw my sweater and my jacket right on top. All right, I always do that so that I can reach in and grab one of them if I need it. If I packed this out further and there was way 
more stuff, my jacket would go on the outside. I would still probably be able to fit my thin merino wool sweater, okay? Got my sweater and my jacket. Then I've got my uh, my small, my minimal uh, little toiletry kit. Now, a lot of people pack a lot of things in the toiletry kit. I'm here to tell you that you don't need to pay, take very much. I have an eye mask. I have two iPhone chargers, like, or cables, just, <laughs> just in case. My little native deodorant. I'll put a link to my native deodorant at this time code below. I love this stuff. You always gotta look for natural products, right? Love that. I'll put a link to my favorite nail clipper in there because nail clippers, like, who has time to be researching? I found a good nail clipper that I like, and so I'll put that in there. I also got a travel brush, toothbrush, and some toothpaste, and uh, and some, like, a little Tom Bin pack with, like, sundry, like, you know, pills and band-aids and chapstick and stuff. Okay, don't need to have much. Don't need to have everything. You know why? Because there's a QVC. There's a... There's a, uh, like a whatever, a Tesco. There's a Walgreens where you're going. You can pick it up there. Then... Big packing cube, medium packing cube. This is all I'm allowing, I always ever allow myself to take, right? I can fill these up as much as I want, but I cannot take more than this. And ultimately, I found that there's a good balance in that. I'll let you, you know, discover for yourself what you need to put in packing cubes of those sizes. Now, what's this? What is this right here? What is this guy? You can see there's some organization right here, flat organization stuff so you can put your you know your laptop charger and stuff in here that you don't need very often i think they did upgrade this uh liner i think they've up updated this to uh, a little more of a robust liner that's interesting it feels it feels better but what is this you can see this this is my quick access pocket at the very top right so it's just thrown in there it's just right at the back there it's just thrown in not my favorite look, but that's that's fine. Then there's this sack. Well, you know what that goes to? That goes to back here. On the bottom of the bag is its own little shoe compartment. That's right. For all of you people who feel like you got to have a place for your shoes. Like, oh, what if my shoes touch something in my bag? That would be terrible. You can slide them right into their own little case, right? It has its own little stuff. Now, this isn't this doesn't feel particularly coated with like odor or water type stuff, but you're safe. You're, you're, it's way more protection and coating than not having them in something. Though, if I were you, I would just get like a, like a Safeway bag and wrap my shoes in them and throw them right in. Cause then I have more control over how my bag is organized. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I put my shoes there, but really I always want to put my like, my heavier stuff down at the bottom, my light stuff here at the top. I want to throw that in and look at that. I'm perfect there. Then let's grab our toiletry. Let's just throw that up at the top, get it to fit somehow. You don't need to put it together. Then I'll grab these guys and I'll just shove them upside down like this. Put them like, put them somewhere on the guy. Just throw them somewhere like fucking this. Now, I don't travel with these. This is if I was doing something fancy. Some of us gotta do something fancy. I would like end up getting a fancy shoe that I could wear when I travel. That's mandatory. If you need a fancy shoe, get one that you can wear when you're traveling so you don't have to have this like, extra fancy shit. I know that's not always possible. I'm used to a more casual life than some of you. Okay, but that gives you a sense of the size of this bag. This is in no way packed out to capacity. Um, I It's basically packed out to the kind of capacity that I feel comfortable with because when my bag is overpacked, everything, <laughs> everything is worse. Every interaction is worse. Every moment of carrying it is worse. Every time I try to get something out of it is worse. Now, with the bag empty, you've got these compression straps. Let's pretend I I still have my laptop and some tech stuff in here, but right now there's nothing in there. Okay, so let's just pretend that you use this as your travel bag and you might need to use it in the office. The good thing is you've got all this organization, you can bring everything you need into with it. Now, is this too big, too bulky? Is this too weird for you to carry at, into the office and be like, oh, hi, Jane, how are you? No, this is just a regular backpack. It's like, what I, what I, it's what I work out of when I travel. It's my travel work backpack. It's not that bad. It's kind of stylish. What do you think? Thanks for giving me the vote of confidence. I mean, it's not that bad, right? You know, it's like not that bad. You could you could even kind of go around town like, 
you go to Paris, you bring everything in this. This is your daily carry maybe, you know, though I would say going for a bag like this, this is from Tortuga. It is their, I believe their set out day pack. It just crawls up into nothing, but it has like solid little, you know, organiz like a little organization thing. It's a couple water bottles or this one from Chrome. Look at this sucker. It's basically entirely waterproof and it's just got nothing but but some straps to it, but it curls up into nothing. You can just put it right on top of your stuff like you would any sweater and it can fit in your bag. Or my personal favorite, I just, I always travel with this one in my bag. It's the Why Not Deploy bag. Uh, it's just, there's nothing to it. Cordura, basic straps. I just lie it right down flat on top of my bag. And that way I can carry this bag or even a bigger bag like the Heim Planet Monolith 40 liter, which I'll show you in a second. Anyways, the point being you could, you could carry a little bag inside your bag and now you've got a more stylish, more regular daily carry bag. Okay, so now about what we talk about some other bags you could check out. This is the Nomadic Travel Bag. It's a huge duffel, definitely more capacity than this but still has a lot of solid organization. We traveled with this for three months in Mexico. I dislike the rigidity. I, dis I dislike some of the manufacturing on this. However, uh, when you're traveling and there's no such thing as a perfect bag, it's just the right bag for right now. And for a lot of you, this can be the right bag. Like it's a really good bag. It's gonna last you for a long time. You're gonna feel like your stuff is safe and secure. It's very comfortable to wear when you get the hip straps. Um, a uh, solid bag. Put a link to that in the description below at this time code. The Heim Planet Monolith 40 liter. This has probably a little, like I'd say definitely a little more capacity than this bag, basically because this bag, they're roughly similar sizes, but this is just a compartment. It's just a big main compartment. You have a small, you have a laptop compartment for a 15 inch laptop. You have a couple quick access pockets, but that's it. So I like traveling with this a lot because then I take that little tiny bag that deploy and I just lie it right on top of my bag and I have all my stuff inside. So when I get to onto the plane, I pull this bag out, it has everything inside and then I just throw it right in the, the seat while I throw this up on top. That has definitely become my preferred way of carrying because uh, when I get there, I have a great daily carry. I can fit a bunch of shit in here. I got the, this is, I like this. This is probably my number one top rated travel bag right now, just because it's just a big durable, gaping hole you can pack with your stuff and get there because it's utterly comfortable. Without any side straps or anything, it's really comfortable. So check out my video on the Heim Planet Monolith 40 liter. I'll go quickly here, the Tom Bin Aeronaut. This is just a huge, wonderfully built, massive dust bowl. If you don't need tech stuff, if you just wanna have a couple main compartments or just one big compartment on your back, it's got backpack straps that come out of here and carry as a as a like a thing like this. This is just like the ultimate family traveler. Everybody gets one of these and then your bags last for forever. Love this bag, Tom Ben Aeronaut. Link in the description below. If you wanna church it up a little bit, if you wanna give it a little more fancy looking, the track store, S-T-O-R-R -R bag is awesome. You got a nice little pocket on the front for quick access and then just a bunch of capacity in a beautifully designed wax canvas bag with some old school, like, you know, old school hardware and aesthetic. This thing will last you for a long time. It's like a classic bag. I'll put a link to this in the description below. The GORUCK GR2, this thing is a classic travel bag at this point. It's the kind of thing you have to spend a little more money on, but once you get it, you're done. <laughs> you're done, you're done. There's no more bag purchases for you. This is a perfect size. This is a 34 liter. It also comes in a 40 liter. For most of us, 34 is great. If you have a larger frame, 40 liter it can work, but it is a very big bag. You've got two large compartments. You've got some organization up front, a little bit of organization inside side. Watch my video on the Go Ruck because this is the kind of thing that you just commit to for the next decade or two and it ends up being cheaper than buying multiple bags. It ends up being something you fall in love with over time. Great warranty. Go Ruck GR2. Now again, if you want to church it up a little bit, the Pact One. This thing is nice. It's very well designed. It is not a backpack. You catching my eyes here? This is my bummer on this bag. I would love to carry with something like this that's a bit more elegant, but it's not a backpack. 
Um, it's hard to make a backpack elegant. It's really like this is a very well executed version of a travel bag that opens like this. You've got two compartments, lots of organization. This thing is fucking killer. Like it really is fun to travel with. The packed one, I'll put a link in the description below. The invisible carry-on bag. This is awesome as like a, it's like got little less space than, than the air travel pack too. A little less space, but just Barely, I think you could basically, like I fit all of the things that I fit there easily inside of here with more space to bear. And though this becomes an actual useful daily carry bag, check out my video below on that. This is actually really killer as a travel bag. It's like sort of like, if you commit to a bag, like if you committed to this bag, you'd, um, you'd probably be pretty fucking glad you did, I think. Uh, I think you would. The invisible carry-on, I'll put a link in the description below and you can watch the whole video on it. Uh, the Wandered Perverky or Provoke bag. This is the 21 liter. It also comes in a 31 liter. The 31's big for the big frame people, but you could fit a lot of stuff in it. 21, you can actually fit a lot in it too because it's got this roll top design. That means you can kind of fill yourself up to like the brim, roll it over once or twice, have this guy all the way out here and now you've got like a lot of travel stuff and it's adventure ready. You've got all your tech stuff. You can have a camera uh, thing put in there, water bottle made from stuff that like basically you could be in water, you could be cruising around, you could be having lots of adventure stuff. The Wandered Provoke is a very solid adventure pack uh, and they've kind of updated it a little bit. They just sent me a new one and it's, it's kind of updated. Like solid bag if you want to go for more of that like urban assault, uh, river raft guide kind of vibe. And then finally, the other bag I uh, recommend highly is the Tortuga Set Out. Now, this is a maximal capacity. If your worry is about being able to fit stuff, this is where you want to be. This or the Heim Planet Monolith 40 liter. This has a great stir, like a great, you know, carriage for carrying your stuff. It's very, it's kind of over-engineered, but it's actually really solid when you get into it. Um, Cause you can pack this out with a lot of heavy gear. Uh, another thing where I just, I put my travel bag inside, my little daily carry inside. I can carry bunches of shit. I've got some organization on the outside and a full tech panel for organization here if I need to use it as well. The Tortuga set out is made from great materials. I like this thing, probably my, my for, for one bag travel, I recommend this and the, um, the Heim Planet Monolith 40 liter the most for people who travel like me. And then there's this guy, which is I think the ultimate, like sort of just get started because it's stylish enough for us, it's big enough for us, it has enough organization. You know what I'm saying here? I'm saying this is a very solid, capable bag and you'd be glad to have it. I don't know where your travels are taking you, but that's where I land. <laughs> oh, that worked out well. On the air travel too. And I'm sorry, I did not plan that. I don't know where your travels are taking you, but that's where I land on the Tech Pack 2 from air. That's, a, that's, how do I, how do I improve on that? How do we improve on anything? That's what my question is on this channel, is how do we get stuff that's good, that's gonna last? How do we buy things that we're not gonna be pissed off about buying later on and go like, still looking for a bag three years down the road? That means I haven't done my job. I wanna get you into a bag that you can start your journey on, right? Because you're gonna learn about what bag you actually need once you're on the journey. And chances are, you'll probably be fine with whatever you have lying around. That said, there are some pieces of gear that can really upgrade and change your life. I think, for instance, like Bluetooth headphones or uh, the travel bag you carry, your daily carry bag that you use, little accessories for your computer, things like for modern life, right? So that's what I'm about on this channel. If you like this, subscribe. I wanna get us buying things that matter more and spending less of our fucking money on bullshit so that our lives have more of the good stuff and less bullshit. Pretty simple value proposition. I'm putting on like rolling the dice and I'm letting it go. Let's see if we can make this channel massive and uh, and you can follow along because right now I'm just going full time on it and my wife's like, I guess you can do this full time maybe? So follow along, subscribe, tell your friends, you know, and by the way, if you purchase any of these bags, please use my links in the description. Any of these products, on several of them, I'm able to get affiliate relationships where at no cost to you, the companies give me a couple bucks for telling you about them. I am telling you the truth here. I've worked with all of these bags 
bags. I've traveled with more bags than I care to talk about at this time. I'm constantly in different daily carry bags because I've kind of made myself a little bit of the pilgrim of trying things out because I learn a lot in different bags. But hopefully that learning is valuable to you. I'm rambling now. Uh, I'm interested in it, but I don't know if you are. Follow along, find care, take care, serve hard, and dig in. Thanks for coming to my channel, and I hope to see you again soon. Bagworks.co JaceReeves.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, where I guess so. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.